right? Anyway, let's get to this. So we have a brand new tutorial, which is here. Um, I've not seen this. I helped design it. I haven't seen it since. We got our first taste of victory. The war is far from over. Our dwarven allies will give us assistance in safeguarding the surrounding islands of the Violet Sea as we continue our conquest in winning this war. Let's see how this plays out. Alright, now let's be clear. This is placeholder art, so nobody yell at me about the fact that the art sucks. Um, Alright, our allies are supposed to help secure the kingdom, but where are they? Hurry, rally our troops and find out how we can get in touch with the dwarves. Alright. Go to the adjacent, adjacent is the word I'm looking for, adjacent, adjacent land, and occupy it. We will need to start securing the kingdom ourselves, even though our allies offer their assistance. Yeah, we'll get back to all this text needing some, some love. Alright, so here. Alright, done. It looks like this army is garrisoned the fortress in northern Wayward Hills. The fortress will give them a much stronger defense. Worse yet, it's in the mountains. This will be a tough nut to crack. Careful now, it would be unwise to battle a garrison fortress with the numbers that we have. Let us occupy this land and regroup after we've captured Greenstroke. Sounds filthy. Alright, each terrain and improvement may offer a defensive bonus to armies fighting in that terrain. You need to occupy a terrain to receive the defensive bonus. Attacking armies do not receive defensive bonuses. Alright, see now there's some information that people need to know. Alright. End turn. Boom, yay, I took that over. Alright, if we are to attack that fortress, we need stronger forces. Best would be some more ballista. They throw allow us to bombard our enemies, causing damage to multiple enemies with every attack. But let us be careful. They're strong in attack, but weak in defense. Would be wise to recruit a number of guards to defend them when we attack. Alright. Reinforcements from Robert have arrived. Let us organize and add them to our stack. We'll have a better chance of defeating garrison troops now. Alright, cool. Clicking on any unit will show you the details of that unit. Different unit types have different special bonuses. Consider carefully the composition of your units and those of your enemy. Alright, there's some more information. Um, all about Greenstokes. Alright, we got some stuff and we got Ridley. Alright, cool. Um, so let's pick up our troops. Why was Greg talking, or why was Builder Bob talking to me, but I've still only got Ridley? Where's Builder Bob? Um, we need during a few more turns. Well, if he's not here yet, don't have him talk to me. Have Ridley talk to me. Okay. All right. Let's see how that's going to play out. Yeah, we're going to tear him a new asshole. Off you go. So I have one suggestion, actually, Nelson, and this is going to sound stupid, sound but I think we should do it. We should do it. Okay. Let's flip this map. Right now, I'm playing over on the left-hand side of the map, but the left-hand side of the map is where all my fucking help info is, right? So all my help info is right on top of where I'm playing, which sucks, right? So why don't we just flip this map exactly so that in the early part of the game where I'm getting all these messages, the map will look more like this, right? And I'll be getting all my help messages over here and I'll be playing over on the right-hand side. That will be better. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. That shouldn't be too hard to do. Uh, different heroes have different abilities. These have enormous effect on your game. Consider carefully each hero you use for each job. I still don't have Builder Bob yet? 
Um, one more turn. Well, don't tell me about the special hero shit until I get Builder Bob. That's That was supposed to happen when I get Bob. So it's like, oh, Bob, he's cool. Thank the gods. Robert has joined us. Robert help us generally in this endeavor. Not only does he build improvements more efficiently, he's a merchant, which will add new abilities to our armies. Adding defensive improvements will increase our city's stance against enemies. All right. So can we have a message from... Okay, so I got the message about uh, building shit in our cities will help us do shit, right? Can I get the message from... What the fuck is the name of this guy? Um, I get the message from Ridley. Thank God Bob the Builder's here. Then Bob should tell us, I see that our, our defenses are weak. We should build up our city, blah de blah Like, let's get a message from Bob, him telling me what he wants to do. And then... I get the so I, I get like a little little face message with Bob that he says you know hey let's your your city sucks dick let's build it bigger and then we we get told oh you can make improvements to your city make sense yeah. so we still have the message from Ridley it's just it's a two message thing so Ridley says blah de blah Bob says blah de blah and then we get the thing seems like you need some help here. Uh, notice you've got a missing luck file. Um, let's leave Robert in improving our city while we are on the other hand. Um, continue conquering the kingdom of Revel. Alright. Summer is here and that means a greater harvest through the warm months. Greater resources means a good time to build or recruit. Perhaps it would be a good time to look to our defenses. Thanks, Bob. Um, yeah, we need some art for your season pop-up. But you knew that. Um, what are you up to? Uh, you don't need to build any more shit. Come on down here. You, why don't you build up me a thing with a thing? You, fight, fight the good fight. Reinforcements to Robert have arrived. Let us organize and add them to our stack to replace the troops we have lost. Huh? I see you've started without us. You do know our loyalty comes with a price, no? How about offering us some tribute there? Alright. Um, so clicking on any unit will show you the details of that unit. Different unit types have different special bonuses. Consider the... Uh, and those of your enemy. Alright. Why am I getting that message again? Yeah, um, I think I forgot to add the end reader. Also, your little red arrow was actually pointing at the organize button and not at the thing you want me to click on, which, which is weird. All right, so you're there, let's go there, let's go there, let's have you go there, and let's have you pick up some... Oh, you know what it is? I brought Bob the Builder down, and you... Because I brought Bob the Builder down, you gave me a bunch more catapults and guards, which I shouldn't uh, be getting. Uh, yeah, because it's, it's triggering the hero is on this spot, right? Yeah. So you need to fix it so that uh, I don't... Because right now, every time I throw a hero on that spot, I'm going to get a whole fuck ton of guards and ballistas. Which, it, which ain't fair.
All right, I have an idea. The dwarves have staunch allies. They must understand our needs. They have a portal set up on Lai Delrosa. If we ask them, perhaps they can cede that land to us, allowing us to use that portal to move our enemies behind the front lines of the enemy. All right. You may give and receive lands and resources from allies. You may request or offer the alliance screen. All right. Let's click there and see. Do, do, do. All right. Um... What is an epiton? And what is a gin bragon? You've put a bunch of Filipino stuff in my name game, and this all means like huge throbbing veiny penis, doesn't it? No, oh, I just saw it from the bike store yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what am I supposed to do? Conquer the kingdom of Revel? You may give and receive lands. So it's telling me that I can give and receive lands. Which land do I want to give and receive? This one with a portal, right? Yes. So I need a I need a an objective of get the portal from the dwarves. Or they're not gonna understand that. Yay, thanks dwarves. You're the bestest. Also, this message won't go away. That should be a message I can make go away. Well, maybe it shouldn't. Um doesn't really feel like it's backdooring my enemy very much. It feels like the next spot I would go if I took over this island. Thing is, I'm keeping that island locked until you teleported over there. The yeah, but it, it feels like... It, I, I get what you're doing, but it doesn't feel right. It feels lame to me. Mm. I want that island to be more like like back you know behind the other islands so there's a feeling of like I snuck up behind the enemy with it because as it is right now it feels really like well yeah that's just the place that I'm gonna go in a minute we'll move it to the right side or well yeah move it to the other side of the island other side of the enemy island not directly below the dwarves like that So, alright kids, take over everything. Is it necessary that we have a citadel all the way at the tip of that island? What's that achieving us? Um, you... You added on your notes that you wanted... Uh, there's a scenario there that we, uh... The orcs were chasing one of your heroes, and so some of them... Made, yeah, but that uh, shouldn't be on your first island. That should be over next to the portal on the other side of the world. Yeah, yeah, and just move it along with the portal. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and again, I, we're, I'm starting to defend, but there's nobody that doesn't make any sense for me to defend right now because there's nobody for me to defend against right now. Why? Why do I need to defend? It doesn't. I, I don't understand why I'm defending right now. The idea was I would portal over to the other side of the world. When I get to the other side of the world, then the orcs were going to attack me, and then I was going to pull back into the citadel and defend. That's what we wanted you to do. Yeah, uh, that's what it's supposed to do, but... Uh, I, I haven't... Uh, I'm still watching the stream, so I, uh, I'm not sure yet what happened. Okay, so it, uh, because Bob was supposed to be the one who's, uh, who's going Yeah, but to you can't it. assume that Bob is the one. You got to assume that it could be any hero. Yeah. I also think we could lose one or two of these lands in my home island. It's just taking me forever to take over this island, and there's not really much point to it. I know how to take over islands. You're not teaching me anything with that. Because now I got nothing to do. I'm, you know, all right, fucking wait until I can. This sucks. The, I'm, I'm, you know, all right, sit around and wait, 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 wait. Oh, I got to go all the way up to the top of this island, which is, you know, a, a really. And I just told me that Nug has fallen. I didn't kill Nug. Who killed Nug? Now it's telling me I can't face an enemy this large. An enemy how large? There's no enemy anywhere near me right now. Yeah, I think you completely misunderstood what I was trying to do. So right now, you've got this citadel here on my island. This doesn't make any sense. The idea was that there would be my island, the dwarves, and then the enemy on the other side. And I was going to portal over to the enemy's island and get fucked with over there. But now, I, this, the, the way this is set up doesn't make any sense. Also, I'm not real sure why I need to have Erica yet. I think Erica could have waited until after I'd already portaled over and all that. Having three heroes right now, I don't need three heroes. I don't have three heroes worth of shit to do. It just makes it look worse that I don't have anything to do. Also, there's a very real chance that right now... Nug is going to, you know, these, these, these red heroes should not have shown up until after I had already portaled over to the other side. Because there's a very real chance that if I just press end turn right now, they're going to, now I got that guy on my portal. Right? So if I get this guy on my portal right now, because I haven't built, I've spent the last fucking five turns fucking around on this island trying to get my guy back to the top of my huge unnecessary large island. Now that I'm I'm there, okay, now they're sitting on my portal. He's going to take that portal over. Actually, he's not going to take that portal over. He's going to jump across my unlocked thing. But it's it's possible that... Uh, yeah, this is all very fuckable right now. Um, should I keep Bob stuck on the, uh, on the CP by uh, giving... Hang on, I'm still trying to figure out what, what you're showing me. You can check the full defensive strength by the clicking on your hero. Look at the defensive bonus that hero playing carefully. His bonuses are critically important. Why are you showing me that now? Uh, the thing is, it all started when you moved Bob. Uh, this, the sequences were adjusted as well. The, those were intended for other heroes. but uh, Yeah, but you can't you can't assume that I'm bringing that, this hero or that hero. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to make the sequence not breakable, 
what you you need to do is you need to put the portal over on the other side of the enemy. You need to not summon any actual enemy heroes until after I've portaled. The trigger for summoning those heroes needs to be that I've portaled over to the portal. So you can make the trigger be I've got a hero on the space that has the portal. That way there's no chance that somebody can take over my portal before I get there. Right? And like Colgan says, where the portal is, it's totally pointless and useless. The whole idea of the portal was that it's on the other side of the map and I can't get to it easily through a sea lane. That was why we had it. What's a balba, by the way? Does balba mean large bulbous penis in Filipino? Circle Balbazar. What's Balbazar? Pokemon. Ah. Uh, you and your Pokemons. Yeah, I win. So yeah, fix all that and get me a new version by tonight. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, and include the, uh, including the uh, the map. Yeah. Okay. And just you know, just flip this map. We don't need a pretty map. I can still work with a bullshit map. But in terms, so the, to run you through the changes, um, flip the map. I would also maybe make a slightly bigger map. Um. Because right now, it doesn't matter where we put shit, there's always going to be the fucking, all those messages, they're going to be, because the map sits at the edge, make so there's like, ocean on the side, you know, make a bigger map where the shit that we're dealing with is in the center of the map, and there's ocean on the right and the left side of the map, so the player can actually skip the map actually, to where the, to the, where the, all the notes and shit are going to sit on top of ocean that I don't care about. Does that make sense? So right now, I think you're using like a 4x2 map. Use like a 3x5 map. But leave the islands and shit that you're using the same size. Just put some ocean on the right and the left hand side. Um, so there's that. Uh, thing two, we need to make this level bigger. It's it's Right now, it's so small, it seems kind of pointless. Colgan's got a good point that the dwarves don't really do shit. So we probably ought to... I think... So going through the, the, the what we wanted to do, the portal is on the other side of the map so that we, we go back behind the enemy. After I portal behind that enemy, then the enemy gets a couple heroes, the dwarves get a hero, the dwarves attack the enemy so that they're doing some shit and they look a little more interesting. Give the dwarves a couple more land, give the enemy a couple more land, and make that process of taking over the enemy a little more fun. And I think that'll be a good next step. You're, you're good with all that, Nelson? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Show me when you're done, all right? Okay. And that's it for our live stream today. I really need to turn on my air conditioner.